Thanks for tuning back in guys and today we're going to take a look at the GSG Firefly 22 long rifle 10 round pistol it's semi-auto double single action and it's pretty much a replica clone 80% size of a P226. This guy is made by German sporting guns and it is imported by ATI in through Somerville, South Carolina. And so this platform started with SIG contracting out a 22 pistol to GSG and they made this guy but it was under the name of the Mosquito for SIG Sauer. So it's the same pistol uh, just it has been discontinued by SIG and GSG is continuing making this to this day. It retails for under $200. You can easily find it under $200 at a lot of different retailers so it's a real great entry level 22 pistol and let's go ahead and take a look at some of the pros and cons and the specs on this guy so starting out at the top it does have some very crude sights they're plastic um, sights polymer sights and they do come with two replacements for the front sight so i imagine that they have found out with holstering and wear and tear these guys have broken easily so it's definitely not a pistol that is made for self-defense it's more of a plinker and it's excellent at that so don't expect much for the sights i don't know if you'll find any aftermarket sights for this guy and i wouldn't waste my time because they are good enough and they are adjustable on the back. As you can tell, you can drift them uh, from left to right, and I've zeroed this guy, I'm pretty good doing so. Now also on the slide, it does have a manual safety, and it is ambidextrous, but I'm not a fan of safeties on slides. It's really hard to get to. You can check out some of the footage, and it will show uh, I pretty much have to come out of my grip with my support hand to, to disengage that guy and get it ready to shoot. If you are using it, maybe with training, you can get it down, but I do have to come out of my grip either way for that. So that's definitely a, something I'm not a fan of. Now you can just leave it alone and forget about it and you're good to go. So that's not a huge issue, but something I'd like to point out. Right below the safety, you do have a slide release and a decocker, which both work very well. Uh, the slide release is extremely easy to use and I wouldn't really suggest using the decocker because you're going to want to shoot this gun in single action. The reason being is that the trigger is very harsh. So let's take a look at that trigger and I'll show you what I'm talking about. It is a double action, single action and the manual says it breaks at 12 pounds and four but I've really found out from reading on threads and whatnot that it breaks at about 14 to seven. So 14 pounds and about seven pounds single action. And I do have a uh, snap cap in this guy and you do need to have a magazine because it does have a magazine safety. So no matter how hard you pull, it will not fire without an empty or loaded magazine, whichever case being. So let's go ahead and check it out in single. It's very, um, very good trigger and single, pretty good. Uh, you have some take up, you hit a wall, and then that's it. And as far as the reset goes, it's not terrible. Um, you do have that reset and you, you hear an audible click and then you have a little take up and you hit the wall again. So nothing to write home about, but definitely a decent trigger. Now double action is a different story. It is very long and deliberate. Uh, it has a lot of weight to it. I have a Smith & Wesson bodyguard and that guy is about 12 pounds and I do believe this is a heavier trigger. Now you can get used to it and I can still land shots with the double action but it does take a lot more effort and you got to take your time and really concentrate on your shots. So definitely suggest just shooting this guy in single action only. So it does have a decocker just like a P226. Pretty much everything in the controls is right where it should be in comparison. The uh, slide release is excellent and the mag release works great. This guy uh, does not stick out too far and it has good texturing, works great, works like a charm and the mags drop out freely. So that's kudos for that. They did a good job on that. And uh, with the takedown lever, it's really a nice upgrade versus some other pistols. So I like how they stuck with all the P226 controls on this guy. Also, the grips are very similar to the P226. And it has not too uh, gritty of a texture, but it does have enough texturing on it with the uh, slide serrations on the uh, front grip. I like that. And the back strap has good grip on it too. So 
It really feels excellent in the hand as soon as you put one of these or a P226 or any of the P series uh, SIG pistols. They're very ergonomical and they really fit and point straight. This guy really points uh, very straight for me and it's very easy to quickly get on target and stay on target with this guy. Also up front you do have your Picatinny rails so you can adjust your flashlights, lasers, grenade launcher attachments, whatever you want to put on that guy. Now as far as the frame, it is a polymer. If you can hear that, uh, they might state on their website or certain websites that this is aluminum or steel, but this is a polymer frame, just keep that in mind. So it is a lot lighter than let's say a P226 or P229 pistol. The slide metal is not the best in the world, but it definitely works fine for me. I haven't had any issues uh, with reliability as far as like the slide itself. And uh, yeah, everything seems to work. The magwells aren't beveled or anything like that. That kind of would have been nice. I do find sometimes when I'm inserting mags, you know, I got to get it in there just right at the right angle. It's got to be super straight, but that's not a huge deal. And it's really something you got to actually be thinking about to really notice it. I like how they added the thread protector. Now you can get a model without the threaded barrel, but I just chose for it because it's cool. You can always throw a can on there or comp or something like that. So it's nice to have options. And I really like that option on this guy, especially for the price point of this pistol. Now, as far as reliability, it did have some issues at the beginning. I was shooting CCI mini mags and this guy was giving me all sorts of issues. Now I thought it might've been the gun or the magazines, but actually what was happening is the slide wasn't getting enough pressure to kick it all the way back because it kind of hits that point where the hammer is and then it's gotta go even further and kick that hammer all the way back. And I think what was happening, it just wasn't reaching that final destination of the slide going all the way back. And so a lot of times you can see in the footage, the hammer did not get cocked back and there would be no round in the chamber. I would shoot around and then there would be an empty chamber like the gun didn't even attempt because the slide didn't go back far enough to catch the round. Now with hotter ammo, I've been shooting uh, Remington Thunderbolts and those guys have ran almost flawless. It's been uh, running about 98% on those guys, maybe less than a handful of failures every box of 550. So I'm super impressed now. I was kind of doubting that maybe it was the pistol. And for some reason I wanted to stick to it because I, I saw the potential of this pistol and I really thought it might've been magazine related or something other than the actual pistol. Now I have been running the lower recoil spring. It comes with two in the box but i just ran the regular uh shorter recoil spring for lighter loads and have had no issues with the thunderbolts i hope that helps you out if you're looking for a hotter round or if you know of a hotter round similar like cci stingers uh chime down below and let us know what rounds work for you and if you have one of these so all in all she definitely redeemed herself i'm super impressed now I was very doubtful and I was kind of worried that it was the pistol, but we found out it was actually the ammo and she's been running really, really good now and super accurate. You can get some really great follow up shots and have a lot of fun and really just improve your shooting game with this. So I hope this video helped you out guys. Thank you once again, as always like subscribe and share for more.